Hey everybody, thanks for joining today's Untapped Live about using custom blocks in Entopology. My name is Christopher Cho, Senior Application Engineer and Medical Device Guy at Entopology. And today's session is a high-level overview on understanding custom blocks. Uh, for those of you not too familiar with custom blocks, a good way to think about them is to consider them as a compartmentalized or compact version of a larger set of blocks. Custom blocks have a variety of functionalities. They can take a handful of complex or non-intuitive blocks and combine them in such a way so that all the complexity is hidden and only what is important becomes available to the user. Custom blocks can also be very simple and provide some very basic functionality that users can find in other design software packages. However, some would say that the biggest benefit custom blocks provide is the ability to take a really long or complicated workflow that would normally use a lot of blocks and simply condense it down to just one or two. The download link below will give you access to sample custom blocks that we will be using today, but realistically, any custom block will work if you are following along with today's session. Now what might be a little confusing at first is that a custom block file looks just like a regular Entopology file with the extension .entop. However, this is actually intended because with this custom block file, you can both open the file and import the file. Opening the file allows you to dive deeper into the custom block to get a better understanding of what's going on, and it allows you to modify the custom block and tailor it specifically to your needs if you wish to do so. So quickly opening this custom block here, you can see that the biggest standout differences for the anatomy of a custom block is that the input section has variables that have been inserted into that section, and the output section down here has an output block assigned to it, which is this whole pipe result at the end of the day. Now if you want to learn more about how to put the, a custom block together, we have some additional videos and support pages you can find that will go into more detail about that. But today is really just about using these custom blocks, not creating them. So if you're interested in that, feel free to pause the video now, jump over to that support content, kind of get an understanding of how to put these together, and then come back. But for now, I'm going to close out this instance of Entopology and bring up a new one. From here, we're going to introduce the first method of importing custom blocks, which is using the import tool. Now this import tool can be accessed through the file menu and navigating to import and it can also be accessed through the keyboard shortcut control I, I is in India. Now you can import anything through this import prompt, such as CAD files and mesh files, which is why it is called import object. Uh, but most importantly for today, you can navigate to your custom blocks and import those .entup files into your environment. And the moment you do so, there are some very important things to notice. First and most obvious, the custom block has been loaded into your notebook immediately and is ready for use. If you happen to delete it from your notebook, you can always find the custom block in your search bar because you've already imported it into this environment. Essentially, the act of importing a custom block embeds it into this .entup file that you're working in. And you can now bring this .entup file with you wherever you want, and the custom block will always come along with you because it is embedded. So once you've imported a custom block, the question becomes, how do I see all the custom blocks that my entup file contains? And by extension, how do I remove a custom block if I no longer need it? We can easily see that at the top right of our notebook, there is a little icon that represents our custom block manager. At first glance, we can see a number one on it, and that indicates that only one custom block has been imported into our notebook. This number will change as we import and remove custom blocks from our entup file. Now selecting this icon will bring up our custom block manager that will list all of the custom blocks that have been imported into this entup file. And this little icon on the right indicates whether or not that custom block is actually being used. If this icon is not here, that means the custom block isn't actually being used in your notebook. And you are free to remove it from your entup file by right clicking and selecting delete. Please note though that you cannot remove a custom block if it is currently being used in your notebook. If you still want to get rid of it despite it being used, you will have to find all instances of that custom block from your notebook's window, delete them until this icon disappears, and then you'll be able to remove the custom block from your entop file. Lastly, there is an import block button accessible here as well in case you want to bring up the import window from here. The second method for importing custom blocks is to use the My Blocks folder. If you navigate to the file menu, you can see an item here called the My Blocks folder. This folder is essentially a library of custom blocks that will always be available for you in the search bar. So for example, 
if I bring in my plane from three points block and open up a new instance of anthropology I can see that the custom block is already in my search bar and I can grab it at any time however there are some important details to note when you're using the my blocks folder first off if you change the contents of your my blocks folder such as adding or removing custom blocks, you will have to open a new instance of anthropology to see those changes reflected in your search bar. Second, you can actually drop entire folders into your My Blocks folder. Now, you don't have to take individual blocks out of their respective folders and place them at this very top level. It just means that when a coworker decides to drop their own personal stash of 50 useful custom blocks on you, you can just name the folder after your coworker and just throw the whole thing in. The search bar in the notebook will filter through all the folders and just show you the custom blocks that are inside. Another important detail is that until you actually bring the custom block into your notebook from the search bar for the first time, the custom block is not actually embedded. So you can see the My Blocks folder definitely has the plane from three points block in it, but we don't have the number one or any number at all indicated here in the custom block manager. Nothing is listed. However, the moment I search for that plane from three points block in my search bar and bring it into the notebook, you can see the icon still has not yet changed to the number one, but the moment we fill it out, we've essentially executed the functionality of the notebook, and we can see that the icon changes to the number one, indicating that the plane from three points has been used and is in your notebook. This is actually really useful because the My Blocks folder allows your search bar to look at all the custom blocks you have immediately available to you inside the My Blocks folder, but not actually slowing down your NTOP file by preloading all of them into your file. That, in turn, would make things very, very computationally heavy. So this is actually the most efficient way to do this. Lastly, if you ever want to change where your My Blocks folder is, you can do so in the settings under the general section and modifying the directory that this is pointed at. Please note, however, that restarting anthropology will be required for this change to come into effect. From design to output, anthropology offers not just a variety of ways to control aspects of your design process, but also a variety of ways to control where and how your design process can be applied. There are many ways to design successfully using our software platform, and this is just an example of how to use some of our custom block tools to hit the ground running with anthropology.